Hi guys, it's Heather and welcome to day one of your seven day yoga kickstart challenge. Today we are doing full body yoga, all levels friendly, but before we get straight into our class, please make sure to click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell on my homepage to make sure that you actually get notified when each class is released. If you're all set, go ahead and meet me seated on the floor. You can come to crisscross applesauce or bring one foot in and then the other, whatever is more comfortable for you. And whatever helps you sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders, take your left hand to the left side of you, inhale, send the right hand up and over. Just to start off with a little side stretch. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, send the left hand up and over. Inhale, bring the right hand to meet the left up above. And on the next exhale, just twist and bring the right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes behind you and you can look back. Inhale back to center, both hands come up and exhale, just twist to the right. Left hand to right knee, right fingertips behind you. And try to avoid really pushing yourself into this twist with this left hand. Try using a little bit more of your core to do the twisting. Slowly come back to center and then come to hands and knees. So finding shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, fingers spread wide, uncurl the toes, inhale, drop the stomach, open up through the chest. And exhale, draw the chin in, back of the neck long. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round your back. Do a couple more of these in your own time. Take your time, no need to rush. Just inhaling as you're dropping the stomach and exhaling as you continue to round the back. One more wherever you're at. And then come to neutral. Neutral tabletop. Take your knees out wide. Toes come to touch and send the hips back towards the heels. Slowly walk both hands forward and drop your forehead down. this moment to start to notice your breath. And to congratulate yourself for showing up today. For taking some time for you. Lift up the head a little bit and then just walk both hands to the right and drop back down. Lift the head once more. Slowly walk both hands to the left side of you. 
and come down once more. Lift it up, send both hands to center, come to fingertips with your left hand, and then lift up the right arm up high to the right side of you. And then on an exhale, thread this right hand underneath the left, dropping the right shoulder, the right temple, and just staying on fingertips with this left hand. On an inhale, come back to center. Bring the right fingertips to the mat. And then inhale, lift up the left hand. And exhale, thread that left hand under. Drop the shoulder, drop the left temple. If at any moment you feel like you would like to skip a pose, please feel free. This is your practice, this is your time. So personalize it as best suits you. Inhale, come back up, and then just lift up the hips, bring both knees back to that neutral position, and then shift all the way forward. Bring the hips down, bring the chest down. Hands come right underneath the shoulders. Forehead touches the mat. Inhale. Lift up the chest, open up the shoulders, engage the legs. So engage the legs by kneecaps lifting, but tops of the feet stay on the mat. Great, exhale, come down. One more, inhale, lift up the shoulders, lift up the chest, and exhale, come down. Press yourself up, lift up the hips, Curl both, to both back toes under and lift up the knees. Come to Downward Facing Dog. So from here, please feel free to keep a generous bend in the knees. We're gonna be pressing our chest towards our thighs. You can even walk it out a little bit if you would like to by bending through one knee while straightening the other leg and then switching back and forth. Arms are active, ears come in line with biceps, or as far as your shoulders will allow you. And when you have a moment, inhale and exhale, sigh it out, rest the heels towards the floor. And then slowly begin to walk your feet towards your hands, towards the top of the mat. Keep the feet hips distance. Enjoy this little fold here for a moment, keeping a tiny bend in the knees. You can even grab opposite elbows. And then gently release, inhale, come to a halfway lift, spine parallel to the ceiling. Hands come to shins, exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, little bend in the knees again, lift all the way, hands come down, around and up to standing. Exhale, leave the hands where they are. One more inhale. Lift up the chest, and then on the exhale, grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and lean to the right. Inhale, back to center. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand and lean to the left, exhale.
Inhale back to center. Exhale, palms come to touch. Fold it all the way back down. Hands touch the floor. Step your right foot back. Big step. Drop the knee, uncurl the toes. Lift up, hands come up for low lunge. So from here, you wanna check in a little bit. Make sure that your front knee is over your ankle. You're squeezing those inner thighs to towards one another as you lengthen down through the hips. And shoulders relax. Begin to drop the right hand down to the floor and then just open up to the left side. Exhale, float that left hand down. Curl the back toes under once more. Lift up the back knee. So we're in a little runner's lunge. And then just step it up a tad, a couple inches. Straighten through the front leg. Lean the back heel towards the mat. And come up halfway. So you can stay here if you would like. Or if you want to take it a little deeper, flex through this front foot and lift the toes off the mat. What you really want to be mindful of the most is keeping a nice straight spine, a flat back in these positions so that you are able to breathe the easiest. This is also a great spot for blocks if you do prefer props. Not needed though. You can bring the ground to you by putting them on the highest height. And then place a bend back in the front knee. Give it a little rock and just step it up back to the top in your forward fold. Great, inhale, come up halfway. And then exhale, fold it back down. Little bend in the knees, here we go. Fingertips come all the way down, around, and up. Inhale. Palms come to touch. Exhale, fold it all the way back down. Fingertips come to the floor. Step the left foot back. And then drop the back knee, uncurl the toes. Just switching. Inhale, both hands come up for a little lunge. Checking in. Nice, strong, low lunge. We're not getting lazy today. Thighs are squeezing in, hips are lengthening down, and then left hand floats down to the floor, open up to the right side. Exhale, float that right hand down. Curl the back toes under, lift up the back knee, and then just step it up a couple inches. Shift your hips back. So starting here first with the toes on the floor. Back heel touches the floor. And if you want it a little bit more like before, you can lift up the front toes and flex the foot. Drop those toes down and then just place a bend in the front knee. Give it a little rock. Send it back up to your forward fold at the top of your mat. Let's shake our head a little bit. No, a little bit. Yes. Release any tension. Walk both hands to one side. And then the other. Back to center. Lower the hips all the way down to the floor. If you need to scoot back a tad like me, you can to end up in the middle of your mat. And then just straighten through the right leg. Toes point up towards the ceiling, keeping a bend in the left knee. 
and go ahead and grab that left knee with your right arm. Left fingertips come behind you for a twist. You can look back. Final twist, move the torso back to center. <clears throat> Excuse me, lower the left knee down, bringing the left sole to the inside of the right thigh. And then inhale, both hands come up, just to find some length in the spine, and then exhale, fold it down. As far as you are comfortable, so if you want to mostly be sitting up, that's okay. If you wanna reach a little bit farther, that's okay too. Use your hands to walk your torso back up to seated. Lift up this left knee and then just straighten through the left leg. Left toes point up, right knee bends. Grab a hold of that right knee with your left hand, right fingertips behind you and look back. Untwist, drop the right knee. Right sole comes to the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, both hands come up last time. And then exhale, fold it down. Lift yourself back up, right knee comes up, bring both soles to the mat, and then just one vertebrae at a time, slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Lift up the hips, scoot them a few inches to the right, and then drop the left leg, Bring the right knee into the chest. Give it a little squeeze. And then use your left hand to guide that knee up and over to the left side. Right arm can come in a cactus arm like me or straight out to the other side of you. Palm face up. You can look at that hand or look up towards the ceiling. Or close your eyes. Take this moment to relax. Really let yourself go. Untwist, bring both soles back to the mat, to the floor. Lift up the hips to the center first, and then a few inches to the left. Drop them down, drop the right leg, left knee comes into the chest. And then use your right hand to guide that left knee up and over. Left hand or arm comes in a cactus arm or straight out. 
to the left side of you. Relax the shoulders. And then slowly untwist. Bring both soles to the mat just to center your hips. And then drop them both back down to either corner of your mat. Hands come palm face up to either side of you. And if you'd like to, you can rest the eyes. You can close them. Just letting your body melt into the floor. Take this time to notice the sounds around you, maybe. Even the sound of your breath. The thing that carries us throughout the day. And then notice where you might feel any spots of tension that you can place that breath towards to start to relax each section of the body. The legs, the arms, the belly. the shoulders, and even the face. If you would like to stay here, please feel free for as long as you need before you get back up. If you'd like to get back up with me, go ahead and bring one knee into the chest and then the other. And then just roll onto one side. Press yourself up. Slowly begin to Open the eyes, noticing the color of the room around you, and bringing your awareness back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you again for taking time for yourself, and I hope that you can begin to use these tools of just noticing where you might be holding tension throughout the day, sending the breath towards that so that we can all live happier, less stressful, and healthier lives. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow.
and namaste. Great job. If you enjoyed this video, then you're going to love the rest of my free seven day yoga kickstart challenge. Good for all levels, beginner friendly and no props needed. I made this challenge to help you work towards a daily yoga practice so that you can build strength, flexibility, and mindfulness habits on and off the mat. But even better, if you'd like to take this challenge one step further, then download my free 28-day kickstart calendar with four full weeks of yoga all laid out for you. All you need to do to get access to this calendar is click the first link in the comments down below Enter your name and email and I'll send you the kickstart calendar right away. Now if you enjoyed today's class, let me know by clicking the like button down below, commenting on how it went for you, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload another free practice. Have a good one. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun